eighth grade. Um, I wanted to just give a quick message to all of you um, to say how fun it's been getting to know you guys these past three years. Um, you have kept me entertained, you have kept me challenged, kept me thinking, and you've enriched all of my days here. Um, and I really hope that I've given um, enough guidance to you guys, whether it be from our lovely lessons or from that uh, Skills for Success class we had back in sixth grade, and from your countless meetings in my office, um, whether just a few of you or as many of you that could pile in at a time. Um, I really hope that you've gained some tools and some knowledge to go on into high school. I know that you guys all are going to be amazing upstairs. Um, you all are incredible people, each and every one of you, and I'm so fortunate to have gotten to know you guys these past few years. So please, please come back and visit, um, and I'm excited to hear all the awesome, great things you guys are doing in high school and beyond. Congratulations! Aiden, your affable personality and your sensitivity towards others is always what impressed me about you. And although I taught you in sixth grade, you still greet me in the halls and we laugh about your nickname, Birth Mother, an inside joke, since you were the nurturer of our class. You showed compassion for others and you always applauded everything and all their efforts. And we often used your writing as the model for others. But what most impresses me about you is your creativity and your excitement to learn. That positivity is an inspiration not only to me but to others. You're always smiling. You're always happy. Kala kavod, and I wish you much success in the upper school. I had the great pleasure of teaching Emmanuel Hutterin this year in 8th grade algebra. She's truly a model student. She's equally comfortable in both Hebrew and in English, and she's got excellent study habits. But not only that, she knows exactly the right questions to ask to really understand a topic. And she's, she was also a regular customer in our Friday math lab, so I always looked forward to seeing her smiling face in there. But she wasn't in there for remedial help. She usually understood the concepts really well. She usually would come in for you know, help on an advanced uh, topic or an, a challenging math problem, a word problem. So I'll miss seeing her there in math lab and in class, but I look forward to hearing about her great accomplishments in high school. This is the second year that I'm teaching May Raff. Her upbeat attitude, along with her curiosity and love of learning, have added so much to our Chumash class. May Raff's ability to make everything relevant and personal is sure to take her far in life. Please come back and visit next year. Hi, I'm Naomi Elimelech and I directed the Ivrit play that Nava Khan took part in. Nava will one day be a famous actress and I will tell people that I was her teacher. Nava loves to act and she was very much passionate about her character in the play. Most importantly, Nava has wonderful midot. Her derech eretz is remarkable and everything she does, she does with a true sense of commitment and seriousness. Watch out, Broadway. Nava Khan is on her way. Much as behind the upper school next year, Nava. Meira demands excellence from herself, and this has been the driving factor behind her success as a student this year. Her growth throughout the year has continued to impress me, and I know that the high expectations she sets for herself are going to ensure her success in the upper school next year. Hatzlacha and have a wonderful summer. Hi, I'm here to talk about Shalom Kat. Shalom has been very helpful through his years in middle school. If it means going out of his way to make a student feel welcome or helping bring chairs when a room is not set up correctly, we can count on Shalom to run and help out and get the job done. We'll miss you next year, Shalom. Hatzlacha. Baruch is going to be missed next year in the middle school. My name is Mr. Branda, and I teach math and world history. Baruch has had an impact on his peers by being his own man. He lays his own path and has a great admiration for his friends. From the moment he joined my class in seventh grade and confidently told me that it was too easy for him, he has never failed to put a smile on my face. 
Baruch is a true Renaissance man. He was the composer of our class song and resident whiteboard artist, but also impressed his peers with his innovative solutions to challenging math problems. Kol HaKavod Baruch. Hi, I'm Mr. Wiener. If someone needs a helping hand in the middle school, Zanvi Lesnoy is one of the first people to volunteer. Zanvi's such a helper, he's constantly looking for opportunities to help, just like Avram Avinu. And he's a natural leader, leading both in davening and in Maccabiya. Zanvi, we wish you tremendous luck and we'll miss you in the middle school next year. Ori is going to be missed next year in the middle school. My name is Pamela Wahudka and I teach English. Ori has had an impact on his peers because he always brings a smile to class and shares his ideas openly and honestly. This is impressive because this was his first year at our middle school and that could be a very nerve-wracking experience. However, he took it in stride and let everyone get to know his outgoing personality. Call Hakavod, Ori. Hi, my name is Rini Isser and I'm here to tell you why Shaked Levy is a wonderful student in our middle school. Shaked is an incredibly mature young lady who is always willing to help her teachers and her friends when they need help with anything. When we were just beginning the Hebrew place some months ago, she offered to help pull together lists and help Mrs. Elimelech with anything that she needed. She also cares about her schoolwork and invests much time and effort into her success in school. I wish her Hatzlacha Rabah upon returning to Israel next year. She will certainly be missed by everyone in the middle school, staff, and students alike. Hi, I'm Rabbi Shlomo Buxbaum. I teach Ayelet Licht in 8th grade Navi. Ayelet, thank you so much for learning Navi with me this year. You were great to have in the class. You were always so warm and positive, both in the class and in the hallways. Just seeing you, your good morning, your smile was always appreciated. You're going to be great. Stop being so humble. Be confident. Be proud. And you're going to do big things in life. Hi Miriam, it's Mrs. Essig. I'm so proud of you for finishing eighth grade and I know so much awaits you. I have to tell you, from the moment I met you, I just knew that we were gonna become fast friends. You're an amazing student. You're the happiest kid I've ever seen in the hallway. You always have a smile on your face and we became fast friends. We're twins, we both have birthdays on April 10th and we know that we have the best thing in common. We're both Caps fans and you, got me to have a love for TJ Oshie, and now I follow the Caps even closer than I ever did before because of you. You're an awesome, awesome girl, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Congratulations, you're the best. I'm Rabbi Top, and I'm here to tell you why Ellie Lowenstein is such a holy man at our school. I have the privilege of davening with Ellie each morning. It is a joy to see the positive impact he has on his peers. The passion, enthusiasm, and positive spirit, Ellie, that you bring to our tefillah is energizing to everyone around you. Ellie, you are the sweet singer of Israel, and I bless you to continue striving for the highest heights. Behatzlacha. Josh Makovsky will one day be a famous hobbit who will be entrusted with a great task that will save Middle Earth from great darkness. Okay, not a hobbit and not great darkness, but certainly a great task. Josh will be a diplomat or a statesman and I will be able to tell people that not only did I teach him, but I worked with him in Model UN in developing his great diplomatic skills. But Josh, most importantly, you are a true mensch, a sensitive and articulate person, and you seek to see the world through the wonderful and holy lens of Torah, even as you engage in the world of politics and your many other interests. I wish you continued success in the upper school and always remember, never laugh at live dragons. Eliana Makovsky is one of our awesome eighth graders. When I think of an amazing Mida Eliana has, I think it's Simcha. Regardless of what's happening or how stressed she is, 
she's always happy. She's always happy to help others and just has a joyfulness that rubs off on everybody else. Part of the joy also comes from her creativity. She always has the most beautiful projects and a way of looking at information that's unique and creative. I'm gonna miss at you, Eliana, next year. Hatzlacha. It's always a pleasure teaching students like Kova Mayberg. I was fortunate to have been able to teach her both in sixth and in eighth grade math, and her smile always lit up the room when she walked in. In addition to having superb study habits, she's a true mensch. She's always willing to help her fellow students, and she's extremely humble in all of her accomplishments. She's very respectful to her classmates and to her teachers, and she's always finding the good in people and seeing the bright side of situations. I'll definitely miss Kova, and I look forward to hearing great things about her in high school. Hi, my name is Mr. Wiener, and I'm here to tell you about Reuven Melman. Reuven Melman possesses the meat of the trait of Avat Atora, love of Torah. I see this daily as he comes into class eager to learn, and I see it constantly as he joins me during lunch and other times to seek out more opportunities to learn and to grow. The meat of Avat Atora is so important and will be crucial in Reuven's continued success as he constantly finds opportunities to grow and improve. Much Hatzlacha next year, Ruven. Josh has been successful this year because of his determination to succeed. I have loved seeing Josh grow as a reader and a writer throughout the year. And I know that he will be very successful in the upper school next year because of these qualities. I wish him much success next year and a wonderful summer.